Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's move ahead with the workbook exercises from lesson 8. We will make a note of the answers in this word document and the link is in the description below. Leçon 8, Lesson 8, La Famille de Manuel. Manuel's family. The first exercise, they've given Complete avec les verbes, parler, habiter, aimer et regarder. So all these are ER verbs. They've asked us to complete the blanks using parler to speak, habiter to live, aimer to like or to love, regarder to watch. So using the appropriate verbs, we need to complete the blanks and we also need to conjugate them in the correct form while completing the blanks. The first one, je dash anglais et français. So it means I dash English and French. So we can choose the verb parler and the correct form is parle. I talk English and French. The second one, and aime les chocolats. Anne likes chocolates. The third one, you habite à Paris. Do you live in Paris? Since we're conjugating the verb habite in the you form, it should be written as H-A-B-I-T-E-S. Because that's how we conjugate the ER verbs in the you form. The fourth one, nu dash le gâteau. Le gâteau is cake. So we can choose the verb aime. Nous aimons le gâteau. We like the cake. The fifth one, Paul et Mark dash Allemand. Paul and Mark dash German. So we can say Paul, but it should be conjugated in the ILS form because Paul and Mark are two boys. So it is in the masculine plural, the ILS form. Sixth one, you dash le film anglais, you dash the English movies. The answer can be tu regardes. Do you watch English movies? The seventh one, je dash en Chine. I live in China, j'habite en Chine. Et je dash chinois, je parle chinois. I speak Chinese. The eighth one, vous dash la télé. Vous regardez la télé. Do you watch the television? Let's move ahead with the second exercise. In the second exercise, it is given complete avec les pronoms sujet. Complete using the subject pronouns. We've already learned that subject pronouns are nothing but words like je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, and il. L in the plural form, I-L-S and E-L-L-E-S. So we need to complete the blanks using these subject pronouns. The first one, dash, parli italia, dash, speaks or dash, talks Italian. It can be je, it can also be il or l. All right, because the verb parl is conjugated is written this way for all these forms. So I speak Italian or he or she speaks Italian. The second one, dash, subi espanol. The answer is je. Ethra verb is conjugated as subi only in the je form. The third one, it is nous habitons en Allemagne. We live in Germany. Habitons is in the no form. The fourth one is il or elle a en vélo. A is from the verb avoir. We conjugate the verb avoir in this way. Only with il or l. So he or she, does he or does she have a cycle? The fifth one, dash a joli. So over here, we write the answer as e-l-l-e -L -E because joli is in the feminine singular form and e-s-t is the il or l form conjugation for the verb etra. But we shouldn't write the answer as il for the fifth one. That is because jolie is in the feminine singular form. So the answer should be L. The sixth one. Dash aller à la plage. Vous allez à la plage. Are you going to the beach? Aller is in the vous form. 
Seventh one can be ilzem la glass or elzem la glass. They like, do they like ice cream? M is in the il or l form, plural. The eighth one, dash abita pari, thiu abita pari. Abit ends in the letter S, so it's in the thiu form. The ninth one, dash sapel miriam. Miriam is a girl's name, so we can say el sapel miriam. Her name is miriam. The tenth one, dash va o teatra. So the answers can be il or el. Il va o teatra or el va o teatra. He or she is going to the theater. Let's move ahead with the third exercise. Meteo pluriel. Write the sentences in the plural form. The first one, el abit of France. She lives in France. So the answer should be they live el zabit. Of France. They live in France. So the plural form for L is E-L-L-E-S and so the conjugation also changes. Over here we have they've conjugated the verb abite in the E-L-L-E -E -L form but over here we've conjugated the verb abite in the E-L-L-E-S form and for France there is no plural form so we write it as it is. The second one, tu aimes le gâteau? Do you like the cake? The plural form for tu is vous. And so the conjugation also changes. And the plural form for le gâteau is le gâteau. We must be careful while writing the plural form for the word gâteau because we add x to, to gâteau to change it to plural. The third one, je suis dans la maison. The plural form for je is nous. So that is nous sommes dans la maison. I am in the house. We are in the house. The fourth one, le garçon parle anglais. The boy talks or the boy speaks English. So the answer is les garçons parlent anglais. The boys talk English. The fifth one, je regarde un film français. I am watching a French film. The plural form is nous regardons. We are watching des films français. We are watching some French films or French movies. The sixth one, l'enfant va à l'école. The kid, the child is going to the school. And the plural form is les enfants vont à l'école. So it means the kids are going to the school. Let's move ahead with the fourth exercise. It is given relier les colonnes et mettez les adjectifs au féminin. So first we need to match column A with column B and uh, we also need to write these adjectives in the feminine form. So they have given three questions on this page and a few other questions on the next page. The first one is old. The word for old in French is vieux. So it goes with option I, vieux. And the feminine form for this is VA. The second one, they've given the word handsome. Handsome is beau, option J. And the feminine form for beau is belle. The third one, naughty. They've given the word naughty, which is méchant in French. And the feminine form for méchant is méchant. The fourth one, they've given the word generous. And the French word for that is généreux. And the feminine form is généreuse. The fifth one, they've given the word kind. It is gentil. Gentil is kind or sympathetic or nice. And the feminine form is gentil. The sixth one, They've given the word pretty. Pretty is jolie in French, option B. And the feminine form is jolie, but with an E. Let's move ahead with the seventh one. Seventh one, they've given the word happy. Happy is content. In English also we say content. So it is option A, content. And the feminine form is content. The eighth one, they've given the word polite. Polite is poly, option C, poly, and the feminine form is poly with an E. 
let's move ahead with the ninth one they've given the word cute cute is minyo and the feminine form is minyon so to write minyo in the feminine form we need to write minyo in the masculine singular form and then add n e the last one sad sad is threes and the feminine singular form is also exactly the same threes thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe to my channel the french station to get notified on the upcoming videos like it and share it with your friends as well until then abhyanto see you soon